Hello and welcome to a new video on board of MS Amera of Phoenix Reisen. In this video we will take a look at day 10 and 11 of this cruise and this is the highlight of the cruise because we are reaching Svalbard, the islands of Svalbard and here on the map you can see our route of those two days. The first day will be a day at sea but actually it is a day where you can see something because we are spending the whole day in the East Fjord, the main fjord of Svalbard. And on the second day, we are also visiting the city of Longyearbyen. We're starting early in the morning with picking up our pilot. Of course, we have to have a pilot for the fjords and areas here in Svalbard. Of course, you have to have someone who has a lot of experience with the area here. You have a lot of ice, for example, in the fjords coming from the glaciers. And so, close to the city of Barentsburg, our pilot came on board and then we turned to the left to the first bay, which is the Trükhamna Bay, which was our first destination. And there we could take a look at the glacier Harriet Breen. And maybe this view might have a familiar ring, because this is the Ümerbukta that I visited with the MS Nutschtjernen last year, one of my very first English videos. And then we sailed further up the Isfjord, heading northeast. Our next destination was the Billefjorden. And of course, also on our way there, we had some fantastic views of glaciers and the beautiful landscape of Svalbard. For me, one of the most beautiful places on earth. And so I was very happy to be back here after only one year, even though this time I'm here with a bigger cruise ship, so it's not an expedition. So I will only spend time in Isfjord. We are not going further up north like with the Nordstjernen. So if you want to see how it is looking in Svalbard, but a bit further in the north, then you have to take a look at my other videos from the Nordstjernen from last year. But there's also a lot to see in the East Fjorden, for example. Here we can see in the far distance some animals, some reindeers and of course the beautiful mountains. This is what is very impressive about Svalbard. One would think that there is not much to see and everything is just like gray, but there are so many colors and if you take a closer look it is so beautiful. Such an interesting landscape. So if you haven't been to Svalbard I can highly recommend going there. It's such an amazing place to visit. And now we've reached the city of Pyramiden, which is a former Russian coal mining settlement which is now more or less abandoned and mainly used for tourism. But due to the Russian war against the Ukraine, there are not many tourists visiting Pyramiden anymore, which is due to a special political agreement on Svalbard. Every nation was allowed to found a settlement here in Svalbard. Only Russia and Norway made use of this right. So even though this whole archipelago of Svalbard belongs to Norway, still has some Russian settlements like Pyramiden. Quite interesting here with the white letters in the mountain is written the word peace and above that in Russian peace for the world. The Russian words have been there before the war, peace has been added later on, but obviously still most tourist companies still avoid going to this Russian settlement. Of course we didn't stop there either, we just sailed past Pyramiden, so unfortunately I cannot take a closer look at the city. I was supposed to be there last season with the Nordstjernen, but of course Hurtigruten also cancelled a stop in a Russian port for obvious reasons. And so we continued on to the Adolf Bukta and there we can take an impressive look at yet another glacier, the Norden Skjöldbreen. And there it was also time for, let's say, a little tradition or a little event that will happen on most Arctic cruises. We sent our rescue boat to pick up some ice from the glacier and then we brought it on board with our crane and used this ice for some cocktails at the event in the evening. This is something special, but I think most cruise ships that are visiting Svalbard are doing something similar like that. Also quite interesting is the color of the water. You can see that there are two different colors that are not mixing up and that is because of the sediments that the melting glaciers are bringing into the water. So there's some water with sediments and without sediments and these two waters are regularly not mixing up. But if we're going through the border of these two kinds of water, we're mixing them up a little bit with our propellers, but 
mostly you can clearly see a line where these two kinds of water are meeting but not mixing. Here you can see our rescue boat picking up the ice and once we had the ice on board we left the Adolf of Bukta and also we left the Bill of Fjorden and continued on to the Sassen Fjord. Then we are crossing the Sassen Fjord to get to the Temple Fjord and in the Temple Fjord we had our overnight stop laying in the roads. And as always, also the way there was very impressive because especially when you're going from the Sassen Fjord to the Temple Fjord, you have some very impressive mountains. And here we can see the next glacier, the Tuna Brain, in the background. And right in front of the Tuna Brain, we will stop our ship, stay there for the whole night. So we had a very nice dinner and a party in the evening with this amazing view of the glacier that we will see in a second. And on the next day, we continued on to Longyearbyen. So here we can see the impressive Tuna Breen Glacier and Van Post Breen Glacier. They're mixing up here. And these are very, very big and impressive glaciers. So it was quite nice to see them. Also quite active glaciers. As you can see, there's a lot of ice in front of that. And that always means that the glacier is quite active. And then it was a time for dinner with a fantastic view of the glacier in the background. And then in the evening we had the Viking party where the ice that we just collected from the glacier was used for the cocktails. And now we are already on the second day here in Svalbard and we are laying in the roads in Longyearbyen as there were two other ships the Spitsbergen of Hurtigruten and the cruise ship or expedition ship of Ponant Cruises. We had to be laying in the roads again using our tender boats, but it was quite nice because we are stopped with the tender boats right next to the famous polar bear sign. Just for you to know, it's quite important. Those polar bear signs are marking the city boundaries and you're not allowed to go behind that signs because there you would need a gun and of course you cannot just wear a gun in small, but you have to have special training. So. As a tourist, you can only stay within the city boundaries. As our docking location was within the boundaries, we could just easily walk to the city center. There was also a shuttle bus offered, but it was not necessary because it was just a walk of about 15 minutes. Here we are in the city center of Longyear being one of my favorite cities in the world, even though it's just a small place, it has such a amazing atmosphere, such an international city. And my favorite place in the city is the Cafe Huskies. As the name implies, it's a cafe with Huskies where you can get nice coffee, buy some local souvenirs, and all of that accompanied by some very nice Huskies. They belong to the owners of the cafe, but I also saw a local lady bringing her Husky to the cafe, going to work and then picking him up after work again. And after that, it was time for a small tradition. Like last season, it was time for some ice swimming in the Arctic Ocean. This time the water was a bit warmer than last year. It was six degrees, but still very nice and refreshing. The good thing was it was possible to do that right next to the tender location. So after swimming, we could go straight to the tender boats and then back on board for a hot shower. And we were docked quite close to the airport of Longyearbyen. Here you can see an SAS flight arriving from Oslo, one of two flights reaching Longyearbyen every day. And after that, it was unfortunately already time to leave one of my favorite places on earth, Longyearbyen and Svalbard. And we are now heading back down south And in the next video, we will visit the beautiful Lofoten Islands. But this will be the topic of the next video. Here you can see when this video will be uploaded. As always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider to comment, like, subscribe or share the video link. And I hope to see you in my next video.